Welcome back to the channel. Um, right now it is October the 10th, and I went hunting tonight. And, well, yeah. I guess I have a little bit of footage to show y'all. So, yeah, something happened. Like, yeah. So, anyways, just gonna give y'all a little sneak peek. And that's all y'all need to see, so just finish watching the video. See ya.
it on with like whoever does it. Alright, so this is my arrow. I mean, that's supposed to be green, that's supposed to be orange. So, you know what I mean? That's yeah. supposed to be red. But it's redder. That's supposed to be black, but. That's what. So, I'm not sure. This is so dark. He's getting our. Alright, guys, we're going to get our dog just to try her out. I don't think we'll need her, but we just, we're trying to train her and stuff. I mean, she's pretty good at it, but we still are just going to try to get her as much practice as we can. So, if I can get her. Go find her. I don't point it at the back of my head. I'm going to get a head up. Yeah, that's good for All right, there's this deer. You barely see it. It's sticking out its ears. It's floated down, so we know it's a deer now. Bryce is going to go get it. You got lights and you got the door camera? Yeah. Alright, let's go get my deer. Yeah, there she is. You gonna be able to, uh, to hold her and bring her up? If she ain't still alive, she's got her head in the water. We'll pull her up here and then we can look at all that. Let me, my phone is going off. Why is it going off? What? Is it a doe? Yep. Let's go. That's a pretty good shot right there. Pick her head up again. Well, I can't see her because the kayak is blocking. Bryce, you happy with her? Yeah. Uh, She's bigger than I thought she was. By the way, guys, um, she was shot in the... I mean, she was laying in the pond that my fishing stereotypes were filmed at. Go subscribe to Eric's Outdoor Life and watch that video. But first, subscribe to me. First. Actually, everybody that's subscribed to me is probably subscribed to me. Because I gave him a shout-out in that video, so... That's where the steer was laying, is in that pond. Ornery old thing. Why deer gotta be like that? Okay. I don't know if I told y'all this or not, but today is October 10th. And here in Georgia, it is opening day of rifle season. But, I really didn't want to go shoot a deer with a rifle before I at least tried to shoot a deer with a bow, so... Yeah, I shot it with a bow instead of a rifle, and Eric was telling me before I went hunting that I really need to sharpen my broadheads, even though I never shot them before or anything. Like, this is my first year I shot with a bow, but yeah, 
I, you mean you saw what it did. Like, I don't know if you saw the hole or not. Alright guys, this is where I hit it. It's right there, which, pretty decent shot, and you can see, I mean like, yeah, it's a pretty big hole. And then where it came out was, it's a little bit low, right there. Um, it's pretty, it's a pretty good shot. Yeah, like it was, I didn't realize she was at that much of an angle, but. I guess she is. She was. Or yeah, she was. Quick random fact, guys. I'm almost stuck. Subscribe to Eric's Outdoor Life. Go get my boots, Bryce. They're in the truck. Alright guys, we just got her uh, here. And to skin her out and stuff. Um, she ran about a hundred yards or so, and she ran like through knee deep water the whole way, and then crossed a lane and went 30 yards into, a mid into the middle of a pond. So we had to come over here to my grandpa's and get a kayak to go get her out. So it was probably one of the most intense um, deer hunts I've ever been on, but. Yeah, I mean, I've only shot three deer before, but I have been on a lot of hunts, just saying. But this is the first year that I have, like, when I hunted by myself this year, this is the first year that I've seen. Like, I've hunted a bunch of times, but, yeah. The first year I saw by myself this year, and I was hunting by myself, I shot, so. When I hunted with my friends, I always saw deer, but I, when I hunted by myself, I never saw but anyways, we're going to get her skinned out, and yeah, I'm just really excited and happy I got her. Um, I was a little bit too emotional, I guess, like, yeah, anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see y'all on the next one. By the way, shoot Carbon Express broadheads, even if they're dull, which Eric said they are, but, yeah. I highly recommend Carbon Express broadheads. Quick uh, tip here. Those broadheads are so dull, I can rub my finger up and down them. I mean, it's still got a pass through, but just throwing it out he there. Yeah, a so. complete pass through, and they're still stuck in the dirt on the other side, and he says they're dull. They're still dull. You literally can rub your finger over them brand new out of the pack, so they are dull. Hang on, let me hurt. I just gotta show you all this arrow again. I mean, like, look at that blood on it. I haven't even washed it off yet. But, I mean, that's supposed to be red, but it's darker red than it's supposed to be, so. Yeah, we got right. a lot of blood. Alright, right, let's end this video and get to cleaning. It's really late. Too late.